If you're learning a new language, there will be times when you'll struggle with the lesson, when you won't fully understand what you've learned, when you'll be in a rut, or when you just won't feel like you're making any progress. And that's totally normal. In this video, you'll learn what to do if you're not learning and how to overcome language learning struggles. Let's begin. Number one, understand the mindset of a successful learner. Some learners are more successful than others. A key difference between successful learners and less successful learners is in the way they approach problems. Some learners rely completely on a learning program. If there's a grammar rule or word they don't understand, they get frustrated and blame the program. They don't look for solutions. Successful learners approach problems a little differently. If they encounter a problem, they look for a solution or ask for help instead of getting frustrated. You may feel frustrated at times, especially if you're a beginner, but how you choose to react will make all the difference. Number two, set small, measurable, realistic goals with a deadline. Most learners fail because they set big, vague goals, like, I want to be fluent. When they realize they have no idea how to do that, they lose motivation and quit. The solution to this? Set small, measurable, realistic goals with a deadline. For example, finish 10 audio lessons by the end of this week. Learn 20 words by the end of this week. Speak one minute of conversation by the end of this month. Listen to lessons for just five minutes a day, every day this month. Now your goals are small and realistic enough to accomplish. They're specific and measurable, so you know when you reach them, and the deadline gives you a finish line. For example, either you learned all 20 words by Friday or you didn't. When you reach your goal, you gain a ton of confidence. This improves your chances of reaching your next goal because you've had experience reaching a goal and you understand the things you need to do to be successful. Number three, read along with the lesson notes and lesson transcripts. Now, what if you're doing a lesson, but you can't catch a word? Take advantage of the lesson notes and lesson transcripts and read along with the lesson. The lesson notes give you in-depth grammar and vocabulary explanations that are not available in the lesson. And the lesson notes give you the word-for-word -word transcript of everything said in the lesson. So if you want to pick up every word, read the transcript. Number four, review because repetition is the mother of all learning. If you're struggling with a particular word, grammar rule, or lesson, be sure to repeat and review it a few times. And then come back a few days later and review it again. This same principle is used in our spaced repetition flashcards. The system quizzes you on words, then re-quizzes you in three days, then in six days, and so on, until the word gets embedded in your long-term memory. Some things you can do right now are, Download the lesson and lesson notes. Save the words to your word bank, or even write down the words or grammar rules. Then come back to review them later. Number five, reach out to our teachers and ask questions. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can easily get in touch with your teacher and get all of your points of confusion cleared up. Or you can always leave a comment on our lessons and our teachers will get back to you. Remember, you're not alone. If you're struggling with a lesson, you can always get in touch with us. Number six, take a break and go do something else. Another thing you can do is take a break and do something else that doesn't require much thinking. There's a reason our best ideas come while in the shower or while taking a walk. While you're on a break, your brain is more relaxed and starts making connections that you couldn't see when you were focused and stressed out. It's also why coming back to review things with a fresh mind can help you better understand the lessons you've taken. Number seven, downgrade your learning routine. If you're studying for 30 minutes a day and find yourself overwhelmed, or if you suddenly find yourself busy, the best thing to do is to reduce your study routine to something easier and more manageable. If you've been learning 30 minutes a day, drop down to 10 or 15 minutes. Even five minutes is good enough because language learning success comes with consistency. Quitting and coming back every three months won't work. This brings us to our next point. Number eight, remember, learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Think about it. You can't cram for five hours and expect to remember everything you've studied. So just like with a marathon, it's okay to go slow and at your own pace, even if you're learning for just five minutes a day. Similarly, if you're having trouble understanding a grammar point or a lesson, don't let it bring you down. Learning a language is a marathon, a long-term game. 
The little points of confusion you have now are just small obstacles, and you'll fully understand them with time. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye!